The words of Bilam, son of Bill, the words of the man with the open eye, he's referring to the fact that he only has one eye, and he's saying his prophecy. The words of the one who hears the sayings of God, who sees the vision of Shaddai, while fallen and with uncovered eyes. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. So he's admiring in prophecy the modesty of Am Yisrael. Sfona also says that Mishkenotecha, uh, Oalecha means the modesty of, uh, of Am Yisrael, how they had the position of their camps. But Mishkenotecha, which is the uh, dwelling places, is actually referring to the places where we learn Torah and pray. The Bateknesset, the holy Bateknesset that no one talks in the middle of Tefillah or plays with their iPhone. You know, the Bateknesset that people go there and pray and not necessarily socialize. That's the place he's talking about. The place there's no machloket about who's going to be the board, who's not going to be the board, if we're going to buy a popcorn machine or instead of Gemara. Not that place. We're talking about the place that buys the Gemara, the place there's no talking, the place that has the rabbi as the only member of the board. That place we're talking about. That's the way it used to be. Rabbi, full control. No such thing as board. You see what happens. We become further and further from Hashem. We start putting separation with our own hands. First separation every synagogue has, or most synagogues have, a board of directors. Why? Most board of directors are comprised of people that are not religious. So how do you expect a religious institution to be run effectively by people who do not follow the religion you're teaching. It's like having someone who's a mute teach you how to be a speaker. It just won't work. What are you doing, pantomime? You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.